D-Wave Quantum for QBTS, as you can see, the stock price has increased by 60% in just two days. They reported the results for the last quarter. And because they had an increase in their booking over 128% year over year, and their cash position exceeded 300 million, plus the gain more contracts, the stock price has started to rebound up 60%, more than 60%. And market cap is around 2 billion. Now, maybe you've seen my previous video where I said that this company has some opportunities and it all depends on their contracts they sign. Here you can see their opportunities for D-Wave. Near term, the total address per market, they expect to be around Two and five billion dollars. So two and five billion dollars. Mid-term, twenty-five to fifty billion total addressable market, and long term, over the next fifteen years, over four hundred billion dollars. So D wave can be a high reward opportunity. High reward. And as the market cap is only two billion, just compare two billion current market cap with the long-term potential 400 billion total addressable market or mid-term over the next 5 to 15 years 25 billion so from 2 billion to let's say only 25 billion you have 10x more than 10x amazing then all matters to achieve this market opportunity you have to look at their contracts. If they continue to build their ecosystem to attract more clients to their system, then they are on the right path. And as you can see, they have some announcement that quantum computing supremacy over classical computation on useful real world problem. So their research, their results have proven that they can deliver better quantum results than the traditional computers. They introduce their system on-premise, another important factor, because they can sell their system to different customers that want to try the wave on-premise. And this is important because as long as their architecture keeps expanding, more clients, more customers will want this architecture. And the more their network grows, the more money they can make in the long term. So this is the most important thing, to build that network, to have that network effect. Because once you have the standard for quantum computing, your own architecture, then you can easily tap into this market, market opportunity over 400 billion. Now, we can also see that they announced other programs quantum uplift, other processors, calibration of the qubit advantage too, another application, commercial application built with stake, another company, announced a partnership with Kerasoft, and of course other products, which keep building their ecosystem, their architecture. And this is quite important. Now, if you look at the revenue in the last quarter, was flat, but their bookings were up 128%. And you can better see here their bookings. Bookings is about future revenue. And as you can see, the revenue for the moment comes from researchers and government. And this is the most important to gain more contracts from the government and researchers. And once they established, their ecosystem, their architecture, they can expand to commercial customers. And then they can tap into this huge market opportunity from 25 billion to 450 billion. So this is the upside. You can also see here. The revenue from government represents 66% and from researchers, research customers, 47%. They also have Enough cash, as you've seen in the presentation, 
at the beginning. Current cash position over 300 million, so they can continue to fund their research, their projects. And in the long term, all we have to see is more partnerships, more contracts with government and researchers. As long as they keep improving their architecture, attract more customers through the platform, the wave quantum can do very well in the future. And you'll see more opportunities, especially for the stock price. As you can see, from its IPO, the stock price was about $10, and now it's about to go back a rebound. Now the stock price is close to $7. Now, if you ask me if now is the right time to buy this company, you also have to be aware of the risk. Because as I said, this is a high reward, high risk investment. They have this total addressable market in the long term over 400 billion. But be aware, there is also competition. If you look in this industry quantum computing, they compete with IonQ, RigidD, SilsQ, and they have different types of architectures. Let me show you here. D-Wave is focused on quantum annealing. It doesn't perform for the moment general purpose quantum computing, but they focus on specific tasks. And this is an advantage because some companies, some researchers, want quantum computing only for specific problems. They want optimization. And these are the key concepts of quantum annealing, which the web quantum uses. And also energy landscape. As you can see here, quantum annealing is inspired by classical annealing process, like heating and cooling metals. In this way, their architecture works. If this type of architecture keeps gaining more traction, more customers want to use it, then the web quantum can tap into this market. You can see that in this total addressable market, there are more architectures. Annealing from the wave, annealing or gate model and gate model. And as you can see, annealing has a good portion of this total addressable market. But if they can convince more customers to use their architecture, then this market share can change and get higher from 40% to 60% or even more than that. So they have opportunity, huge opportunities, but it all depends on them. The management, their employees, if they can do a great job, deliver better results in the future, more bookings, an increase in the revenue, more contracts. And in the long term, the market cap can go to 20 billion. Or if they fail, you know what will happen. The stock price will go back to $1 or less than that. That's why you have to be very careful and also of dilution. For the moment, the management owns about 7% of this company for the moment. And in the future, you have to see what will happen with the shares outstanding and their future contracts, especially their architecture, if they can build that ecosystem. So that's it for this video. And if you have other questions, please let me know in the comments.